Hello, I'm Dr. Joanne Hobson. I am the Clinical Director of the Menopause Consortium and I want to talk to you today, to you today about myths surrounding HRT. The first one is that HRT is not safe. Of course it's safe. Why would there be so many people like me promoting it? I would never promote something that I did not fundamentally believe was safe. And not only is it safe, it protects you against active uh, such diseases as osteoporosis, dementia, diabetes and heart disease. And what can you not like about that? Furthermore, you can't take HRT if you have a family history of breast cancer. Yes, you can. You do have an innate risk of taking, of getting it. I, I need to start this again. Let's, I'm going to stop. We'll just start again because... Um, I'm needing to get my thoughts in process and I've been too busy having a, a body massage, which has made me relax. So let's start again. So, hello, I'm Dr. Joanne Hobson. I am the clinical director of the Menopause Consortium. And I'm so pleased to have you join us. And today I want to talk about myths surrounding HRT. The first one is that HRT is dangerous. It isn't. It is safe particularly when prescribed as body identical HRT. It is safe for life. The vast majority of women can take it and it will actively protect you against osteoporosis, diabetes, heart disease and dementia. And therefore, I want to get the message out that it is truly safe to take these. The other myth surrounding HRT is that you cannot take it if you have a family history of a deep vein thrombosis or a pulmonary embolus. Yes, of course you can. This is perfectly safe yet again. If you, and also not even that, if you personally have had a clot in your leg or your lung, you can still take HRT as long as it is, it is the transdermal across the skin in the form of a patch, a gel or a spray. I can't take HRT because I've had migraines. Yes, you can. And I think a lot of this is due to the confusion about women who have been denied taking the oral contraceptive pill as opposed to HRT. The estrogen in HRT is different to the estrogen in combined oral contraception. And that's why it is safe. In terms of HRT causing weight gain, no, it doesn't. There has been vast amounts of money invested to prove or disprove this. And no, it doesn't. It is the estrogen deficiency at the time of the perimenopause and the fluctuations that end up with that t t tubbiness on your tummy, the, the, what I call the mummy bear, brown bear, I'm going to into hibernation concept. So if you want to hear any more about HRT and myths and how you can take it, please check out the Menopause Consortium. End of.